Hey guys, welcome back for session three of core and four. Today we're gonna to start out in a tabletop position. You wanna have your wrists lined up with your shoulders and your knees lined up with your hips. We're going to push up into a hover, so you'll press your toes down into the floor and lift up about an inch or two off the ground. We're gonna step back with the right leg and then the left leg, pulling your core in tight. And then we're gonna hold the hover and press the knees out and pull them back in. Then we're gonna step back again, right and left, right and left. Then hold the hover and press the knees out and in, out and in. Now we're gonna push up into a downward dog. So raising your hips up towards the sky, feel a nice deep stretch in the shoulders. Push your heels in the ground, and then we're gonna rotate forward into a plank. Then back into downward dog, and back to our plank. We're gonna repeat this sequence a couple more times. And now as you go into downward dog, you're gonna lift up your right leg up towards the sky, and then as you come to plank, pull your knee up to your chest and then repeat. As you pull the knee up to your chest, you want your back to be flat. And then lower the leg down. Now we're gonna go back to downward dog and to plank again. Just resetting ourselves, finding our center. Really let your pelvic floor guide you as you rotate to the plank and back to the downward dog position. Now raise up your left leg up to the sky and pull it up to your chest as you go into plank. Now after about four of these lifts to the chest, we're gonna raise the leg back and just pulse it for eight pulses. Pull that core in tight and then place the foot down Go ahead back to the right leg and do the same thing. Pulse it up for eight pulses. Now once you place the foot back down, we're gonna stretch back in child's pose. And then we're gonna reset ourselves back into tabletop. Go ahead back into your hover and we're gonna pull up our right arm and our left arm into our chest. Now here's how you can modify just lower your knees back onto the ground, but continue to pull the arms up, with the belly button tight. And we're gonna do some hip dips, right and left. Try to keep the knees in a hover, but you also have the option to tap the knee down to the ground. Then we'll alternate back to our hand raises up to the chest. And back to our hip dips one more time. You can do eight of each of these, rotating back and forth until you've hit your maximum burn and then a stretch into downward dog. Great job. All right, now we're gonna switch to our next workout for the core, sitting on our bottom. I have ankle weights around my ankles, but these are optional. And I'm using a Pilates ball, which I'm gonna tuck underneath my right knee. The other leg is extended out straight and shoulders are lifted up above the ground. I'm just alternating lifting the right leg and the left leg, squeezing in on that ball. For eight rotations. Then hold the knee towards your chest and pulse up for eight counts. Now we're gonna pulse the hovering leg for eight counts. Now we're gonna switch the ball to the other leg Tuck it in behind the knee, extend the right leg out, and then lift the right leg up and hover down. Work hard to keep those shoulders lifted and squeeze in on the ball. Once you've done eight of these, we're gonna pulse at the top, trying to reach your forehead to that knee. And then we're gonna pulse the extended leg for eight.
All right, we're gonna pull it in and we're gonna rise up. I'm gonna take off the ankle weights at this point. And we're gonna reset ourselves back up, laying back on the ground. I'm gonna put the ball in between my ankles. And go ahead and lower the shoulders onto the ground for this one. Point the toes up to the sky and reach up towards the ball. You can even try to have a goal to tap it. So nice little pulse here. Once you've done eight, we're gonna do crunches to the side, reaching left and right, really working those side obliques. Then I'm gonna bring the knees back to tabletop lower my shoulders back down, and drop the toes down towards the ground in a hover. Just take it as far as you can without having any pain in the lower back, and then bring it back up to tabletop. Really focus on squeezing your core and the ball. Once you've done eight of those, we're gonna shoot our legs out straight, sort of at a 45 degree angle above the ground or wherever you can comfortably Cover those legs above the ground as you extend them out and pull them back in. Now we're gonna take the right leg on top, squeeze the ball, put the ball in the middle and squeeze it, and put the left leg on top and squeeze it. So I'm just rotating, a double pulse. At this point, your core should be burning. Woo! Just keep squeezing that ball, just a tap, tap on top, Tap, tap in the middle, tap, tap on top, tap, tap in the middle, just rotating. And when you've hit the point where you know you've done your absolutely best, lower the legs to the ground. Great job today, guys.